Hi, we're John and Leah. Leah. And today we are talking a bit about the road laws in the USA compared to the UK, all based on our experiences driving over there. <laughs> So as you guys will know, recently when we went to Orlando last year in November and when we've been to North Charlotte, Carolina. North Carolina, we drove for the first time. Well, I drove I didn't drive. Time. You backseat drove. Passenger Did I? Drove. Passenger drove, yeah. She was so helpful. Really? She, you like I don't think I was helpful. No, you're, you're a good co-pilot. I looked back at some of the clips and I was like, Leah, that is not helpful. You should have stayed quiet. <laughs> I was like, this is not helpful. This is inciting stress. Yeah, well, no, some Sometimes it's it's stressful, like especially if we get things like you get things wrong, yeah, and we think different things. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, it would just be easier yeah. if I just did it and did it wrong, and then we. But other like times it's it helpful because yeah. then it's like you know when I have a panic and I'm like, like, like Leah, do I come off here or do I, don't I? And then it's good to get a second opinion. Yeah, and I usually I don't know. Yeah. Because we've never been there. We've have we? never been there. So we we can forgive ourselves quickly. Like you took one wrong turn, you were like, ah, oh, and I was like, yeah. it's fine. We've just got in five minutes ago. Yeah. But anyway, to to the laws and stuff. You know, yeah. it's just we'll tell stories along the way, <laughs> yeah. shall we? And and don't forget, we've also got other videos if you want to watch those before driving for the first time in America, yes. where Joel pressed both pedals at the same time. Hilarious. Yeah. And then driving in North Carolina, yeah. where he left the handbrake on. Yeah. So that was just fun. amazing. Yeah. We were like, why is the car not? Why is it not accelerating? Very quickly. Um, also, we should yeah. just say, we have memberships on this channel for 99 cents per month, and on those members only videos that are exclusive to our members, there's quite a few driving vlogs, mainly from when we were in Florida. Yes. And we would just set the camera up as we were driving somewhere and having chats. So if you'd like some carpool chat sort of videos. Love them. Then yeah, check out our memberships because it is just 99 cents per month. They're just more relaxing, aren't they? Yeah. Just driving and chatting. Anyway. Something nice about it. Okay. The first law, we should get the obvious one out of the way because we're not going to talk much about this because it's obvious. Yeah. We drive on a different side of the road to in America and in fact, People tend to think, some Americans have never been to Europe, that Europe drive on the different side to America, but it's not. It's literally, it's like three countries in the world drive on the left-hand side of the road. The UK, yeah. Australia, and somewhere else. But everywhere else, everywhere in Europe drives on the right-hand side of the road, just like America. That's crazy. And Americans often get that wrong. That's so, so we are the minority. We're in the minority. Like, it's wow. so weird. There's, yeah, it's a handful of countries that drive on the left, like the UK. Luckily, Every yeah. Country. I I was luckily right. driving my grandma around in Cyprus and we drove on the left. Yeah, on the right. On the UK side. On the UK side? Yeah. Like, Cyprus is UK. So it was fine. I That's didn't have to good. do anything. All I had to do was deal with the drivers over there. Yeah. And I was fine. In the, I was fine. I was just like being in the car in England. Because, sorry, but European drivers are crazy. Aren't they? Aren't they? Well, I'm talking about continental Europe. They're mental. They just take risks. Yeah. And it's really scary. Mm -hmm. Like, we get lots and lots of roundabouts or as Americans call them... Traffic circles. Traffic circles. Circles and people just jump out at you like they just they just don't leave enough space yeah. so yeah we're gonna do another video which is all about lingo mm -hmm. but for this video we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the rules of driving some of our experiences yeah. well, what Joel has experienced in the driver's seat yeah, so, and you as a passenger. And me as, as a passenger. So what's the first one, aside from the driving on the different sides, what's the first one? So it's to do with handheld devices. So in the UK, it is absolutely illegal to be on your phone or on any handheld device whilst you're driving. Even if it's put up on the windscreen, if you're like tapping it, it's totally it's still illegal. not okay. Yeah. yeah. So when, I don't know if this happens on like iPhones in the US, but on my UK iPhone, when I'm in the car, if I try and open the iPhone, a warning thing comes up that says, I'm not driving. You have to then click, yes, I'm not driving. Oh, wow. So say like my phone's connected, we're in the car, I'm not driving, someone else is driving, yeah. I'm unlocking it and saying I'm not driving. Because it senses you moving, yeah. it thinks you're driving, but you're like, I'm a passenger. Yeah, so it has to make you go through that so that if mm. anything happens, you can't blame them. Oh, I think. interesting. But so, I've seen it in America, we've both seen it. You drive past someone and they're literally on the phone. They're not even on loudspeaker, they're holding it to their I phone know. or they're just like texting while they're driving on a freeway. 
going like 70 miles per hour. It's mind blowing. Like how can you be sending texts and stuff and then also like be looking, it's really hard. And also the, the panic I would feel here. Yeah. <laughs> like if a police saw me or- Oh my gosh, you go to prison. You would. It's honestly not worth it. Cause I remember in the UK, yeah. there was huge campaigns of like, don't, 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 don't text and drive. And they had literally interviews on TV with people who, someone who'd been a, like charged with texting and driving mm -hmm. and someone who had lost a family or friend member due to someone hitting someone and that has always stayed with me and now I'm like yeah it's absolutely not worth the risk yeah by, of like killing yourself or yeah, someone else to send a text message or to have a phone call like obviously I have phone calls but through the bluetooth car system yeah I'm like it's not worth it it's just not worth it is it what text is that important you just don't know like someone in front of you could be slowing down mm. but you're going at the same speed and then you look up and you're like right next to it it's just too stressful yeah. um on this website here called go world travel it says that um, um, the rules of the road in America regarding handheld devices are different depending on the state. Okay. So this is just something worth noting in case you're watching this and you're in America and you're like, no, it's the same here. We're absolutely not allowed. Um, so yeah, it's illegal to use handheld device while driving in most states. Okay. But you know, in other places, it's absolutely fine. Well, maybe you guys can let us know down in the comments now if it's legal in your st what state you're from and if yeah. it's legal or illegal in your state. Yes. It'd be interesting to know. It's just interesting because I know that Americans like drive for a long period of time and mm. then they're going into another state and they've driven and they've, yeah. entered, they've got to now be under the rules of that state yeah. surely they can't just be like oh no where i'm yeah. from this is fine also just think <laughs> it's so weird like like there are some states that it's like us illegal that yeah. it should be there are still some states that are like no it's fine you're like how is it fine, how is it fine? yeah yeah. Absolutely crazy. Okay, so the next one mm -hmm. is all to do with seatbelts. Yes. I feel like it's just all we hear over here. Seatbelt, seatbelt, seatbelt. Seat belt. It's like the classic go-to mum thing when you get in the car. They're like, seatbelts. Seat belts. Everyone seatbelts. It's interesting because I feel like in some European countries, like if you're in the back, you just don't wear a seatbelt. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I feel like you hear it more and more. Like I've had to say to like my Greek cousins, I'm like, put your seatbelt on in the back. Like mm. I'm in the back. I'm like, you still need the seatbelt here. And isn't it weird that seatbelts weren't a thing at once? stage it was yes. like they were added to cars for safety for safety but but on to america mm. before we like finish slagging off europe <laughs> there's not illegal in every state no that's to not wear the seat belt so, so what, what was the example that they gave it there was says here new hampshire is the only state that doesn't require any adults to wear seat belts at all as they do not have legislation in place that's mental. mental. That's crazy, isn't it? So if you're it? from New Hampshire, do you just not wear a seatbelt? Or are you like, well, the seatbelt's there, I might as well. Because I yeah. just think, well, it's there. Might as well, might use, as well it. use it. Bluetooth audio, might as well yeah. use it. Open air top, exactly. might as well use it. Might <laughs> yeah. as well use these it's features. Use the features. Oh my gosh. I know that in the UK, there's yeah. something like, if you are under a certain age, then if you're caught not wearing a seatbelt by yeah. the police, then the person driving is responsible for you and they will get fined, oh. obviously, because it's a child mm. so i remember that when i was younger like uh, i don't know older people who are driving with their parents aunties uncles whatever would be like put your seatbelt on because i'll be the one that goes to prison if you don't wear one yeah i remember hearing that too so i'd like to know if that is true yeah. or if they just said that to us so we were like don't want to get you in trouble yeah but yeah imagine that they're the responsible one if you're the kid yeah and it says here that there's something to do with enforcement to do with being pulled over by a police car in america if a police car is suspicious that you're not wearing if a policeman is suspicious you're not wearing a seatbelt mm. they have the right to just pull you over if they can see like the seatbelt's not in use or they think it might not be in use yeah. but then they said that there's something like secondary enforcement where yeah. they can only bring you charges of not wearing a seatbelt if they first stop you for something else so they yeah. would need the police would need to pull you over for a broken tail light and then oh they also weren't wearing a seatbelt but yeah. they can't just do seatbelt or something it yeah. sounds very odd so like you're getting pulled over for another offense but while we're there we have the seatbelt on as well yeah. because you've broken that as well yeah. Yeah. Oh, just they, yeah. another driving law, which I don't know is on the list, but I'd be interested to know if this is in fact true. Is that in America you are not allowed alcohol in the car? It has to be in the <gasps> trunk. Oh, memory! And it has to be in a brown paper bag. Oh my gosh! So we were, yeah, you were leaving Walgreens. Where yeah. were we leaving? From random supermarket. Yeah, Publix first or night of a yeah. first night of um, Florida. Yeah. Yeah. And Joel was like, "We can't have this in the car," and I was like, "We've just bought it." You were like, "Hide it in the trunk," and I was like, "Really?" 
It's just, just it's, booze from the supermarket. Like it's not open. It's in the it's in the plastic bag. That's what I find baffling about it is that it's like if someone pulled us over, they'd be able to tell if you were drinking it or not because it's not even open. It's like the seal sealed. is still sealed. But apparently, I think you have to put them in the trunk just so there's no question of like, of course, I'm not drinking it because it's in the trunk. Okay. And in terms of bags, it has to be in an opaque bag. I think for the kids, so that the kids can't see the alcohol, so which funny. is hysterical. It has to be in an opaque bag. Yeah. I'd be interested to know in the comments if you guys know if that's state by state or if that's everywhere this yeah. is so interesting because it's like when we did those laws ages ago where we spoke about laws that just haven't been removed that just mm. still actually exist yeah, old laws. and i think that some of those old laws as well this isn't about roads but about the separate liquor store to the supermarket i think yeah. now some american supermarkets do have sell alcohol in the store wow but that's why they for ages they kept them separate so and some still are where you have to go to a like liquor a booze store. shop a bottle a bottle um, and then bottle the store. i love that that's australian right yeah, bottle bottle line. Line. Love it. Uh, I think there might be one more law that we're going to talk about. Okay. Uh, here we go. It's the most spoken about one, I feel okay. like, online. It's the minimum driving age. We find it absolutely mind-blowing that in some states in America, you could be as young as 14 and be legally behind a wheel of a car driving A 14-year-old behind a giant SUV. That's ridiculous. Having, like, a license and having a permit and driving, like, that's crazy. Well, that's what we always say to each other when we're driving and one of us is panicking it's like look if a four well i yeah, thought it was 15. 15 i was like if a 15 year old can do it we can do it yeah it doesn't specifically say here that like it says permit holders 14 be driving but 15. okay that's so that's still but crazy still, it is mental isn't it yeah and yet they won't let kids drink until they're 21. i know it's like that's what's me sorry me. what's more dangerous i know some people have split opinions on that but i'm like i'd rather our laws of like you can drink at 18 yeah. or actually at any age if you're under adult supervision yeah but you can drive from a bit older because like sorry driving a car is so dangerous it really is you Why can go you fast you can just like yeah i don't even know left and right at 14 and i still and don't she still does doesn't it, guys. Know it. i have to do this yeah call it you know what i mean if anyone's watching this and they've got directional dyslexia let me know have so you thought I, about getting a tattoo you could just instead of really getting small. l and r you could just get like one dot on like the left. right so you or the left so you always know which one so you look for the dot i feel like i have learned left okay and like i start to know left off by heart but if it's if someone says right i check okay. for the left and then go opposite to it okay so, like, so i was gonna I say it's only 50 right. 50 so you know if you know left then you know right no that doesn't work like that for dyslexia <laughs> okay. i'm afraid no so if you read about it online no matter how many times you do something you can't just left and right like I mean, you can talk oh. about other things in life. There's other things in my life done really well at, but left and right, it doesn't go in. It oh. just won't go in. And this has nothing to do off. with state laws. This is to do with the laws of my brain. And yeah. right and left, they just don't go in. We can be staying in an Airbnb for a whole week. Yeah. And we know when we get out the lift, you turn right and Leah will get out the lift and walk left. And I'm like, where are you going? She's yeah. like, home. And I'm like, it's this way. <laughs> It's, it's, it's directional it's it's really really bad and like i feel even if i try very 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 hard at it it doesn't it's there's been no improvement mm. but when i was a kid i didn't know this was a problem i've only realized it's a problem now yeah. later in life where people are like how can you not do this yeah and i'm like i even if i try very hard i can't it's bizarre the some are, are like some people are like limiting belief and i'm like no disability disability That's i actually funny. am looking into just like getting some sort of badge yeah a disability Disable badge for well, I'm not joking. The directional dyslexia. Because if I if I park somewhere in a car park, I cannot find the car again. But at least if I had some sort of, I'm like, it's gonna, I'll probably get cancelled for saying it. But if I parked where I was on the front door, because yeah. I had directional dyslexia, I don't know if that it. is a disability. I'll find the car. That's right. I'm gonna get cancelled. I'm gonna get cancelled for saying yeah, that. But it's okay. <laughs> no one can cancel you. You're like a cockroach. I can't cancel um, me. This is another road thing. It, that's helpful when you lock an american car it beeps and it's then really helpful because if you lose your car in america yeah. like, you can just click it and it will beep and you should just follow of the course. beep we can't follow the beep here the no, beep doesn't happen beep. the beep doesn't exist we're a quiet nation yeah. it'd be mortifying for your car to beep when you get out of it oh, yeah. everyone would be like well, we jump every time it does it yeah in america oh it's terrifying 
Anyway. Well, um, that is it. all of the laws, guys, that we're going to discuss it. today. We are going to film a video now about the different road lingo, because yeah. like roundabout, traffic circle, things like that, because that's hilarious to us. It is absolutely hilarious. We're going to film that right away, so look out for that on our channel. Not sure what order these are going to get no. posted in. Stay tuned. We've also got memberships if you like bonus content from us. Yeah. Maybe I should have spoken about my dyslexia on members only video. It's all right. We can go into more detail on members. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't already. We post videos thrice weekly. And we'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye. Bye.